Oscar Bevis, IFL, TV, MTK Global. Elton Smith, you are very good at boxing. Uh, nice comment, but um, yeah, another win, another good performance put in, and um, you know the journey continues. It was like a, a tactical beatdown as well. A lot of people will just look at the power punches, but a lot of feints vary in the pace as well. There's a lot that goes into a performance like that. It isn't just brute power. That is a very good performance. Of course, yeah, and it's like, you know, I, I've, met, I've had three fights scheduled in for this show and comp all completely different styles. So, you know, I've, I've been adapting all the time. But I knew Ellis is, you know, 11 and 3. You know, he's no mug on paper. I thought he was going to come and give me, a, a, you know, a tough, awkward fight. But from the first round, as soon as I landed a shot, I seen his the expression on his face and, you know, he went into defensive mode. And, you know, if I went out there, tried to get him out, you know, he'd have made it look scrappy. So, you know, I told myself, stay relaxed, stay calm. And, you know, I've got 10 rounds. Yeah, you just told me you were second guessing yourself a bit. You said, do I rush it? Did it look like I was rushing it? Yeah. What sort of things are crossing your mind? Because obviously, we know how boxing works. You can rush something and get chinned. See, yeah. that didn't happen tonight. But yeah. was you second guessing yourself a touch? Of course, like... As soon as I landed, I seen the expression on his face and he thought, oh shit, you know, I, I seen it in his eyes and I thought, and I could tell when he was punching me, he's, 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 you know, the snap went, wasn't, went, into, went in his shot. So after the second round, I think I was thinking, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm rushing this a little bit. So, you know, when he was backing up, going into the defensive mode, I stepped back, gave myself uh, quite a bit of room to think and look. And, um, you know, I think that's why the stoppage came because my shots came a lot clearer. Was you quite pleased with it as well because as much as we're boxing fans, we want to see fights go as long as possible. A compassionate corner is a is a good corner. Of course, yeah, you've got to respect that. You know, I I'd have liked to have gone on. I obviously I was enjoying myself in there, but you know, yeah, to, I don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, you've got to respect his corner. His health comes first in this sport. You know, you see you see the bad news what comes with it. So you know, you've got to respect his corner, and I've also got to respect him for stepping in and for me being able to fight tonight. You just look so big at the weight as well. You just look very dominant when it comes to like size and obviously we can see you've got the power as well. Do you feel big at the weight? And obviously that's going to be a massive advantage if you feel it. You just look like a monster in there compared to the other people your weight. Yeah, I've, I think for, even from a little boy, I've always been strong for the weight and I've, you know, luckily I've, I've carried that through. But to be honest, I don't kill myself to the weight. I'm going to get even bigger into this weight. And you know, I've got a top nutritionist and you know, people who supply me food, Food Fusion, Scott Robinson, the nutritionist. and. You know, I've been working for them with the, my last three fights and every fight I just feel bigger and stronger. A couple of people's arse might be going there. Um, well, one person who's well up for a fight is Lee Appiard. It was meant to happen. Um, Going to get it on for the, for the English title. He did tweet and say, let's get it on. We yeah. both up for it. Cracking fight. Yeah, that, that was meant to be tonight, but, you know, he, he tested positive for COVID and, you know, everyone keeps asking for it now. I didn't realise how many people was looking forward to it. But um, no, I've got a lot of respect for Lee's. Um, we're friends it, um, out of the ring as well, but strictly business. That's a fight what is good for my career, a fight what I think Lee, Lee needs and wants. So he's, he's going to keep shouting me out for that. So hopefully we can get that back on in a couple of months. And the best news of the, United, of the night, this might cheer you up as well. Not that you're going to be down, but uh, Sheffield United tweeted about you. So Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, oh, Sheffield United. Fucking hell. Ooh. I'm on the Watch out, that bell. <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday tweeted about you. So, um, yeah, that's another big bonus there. That's it. They've always showed the support, you know, all Wednesday, aren't we? I'm on the blue side, but they've always showed respect for me. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a blue, so, you know, thank you for that. I appreciate the support from everyone in Sheffield as well. I get a good support and obviously um, Sheffield Wednesday also. Do you feel like you're becoming a star as well outside of the ring? Because look, on a fight night, everyone's going to talk about you. That's just what happens because everyone's tuning in and watching. But, um, you know, it's not just about the performance in the ring. You do have to sort of build a bit of character and people are starting to take notice. Can you feel that as well? Yeah, even back home, you know, I feel like a lot of people are knowing the way I'm when I'm about and that. But, you know, I'm not about all that hype. You know, you see my Instagram, it's just full of boxing. I don't, I, I live quite a personal life and... You know, I'm, I'm just here to do a job, doing something I've loved doing from a young boy. And, you know, that, that just shows my hard work's paying off and people are taking note. But, you know, I appreciate all the support I get. Well, you've done a good job tonight and, uh, yeah, we march on. Yeah, appreciate that. Nice one.